morning to you or afternoon or evening whenever you're watching this my name is Louise Pentland I am a women's fiction author oh hi my new book is out very soon in a couple of weeks so I will leave a link for you to pre-order it and the book tour is all set out there are limited places left I think a couple of the places have sold out but go and have a look and see if I'm coming to a place near you and we can hang out I'm doing a little talk and a book signing and that sort of thing in bookshops um, and today I am making a video about some clothes I recently bought I went to ASOS, well I didn't go to ASOS I sat on my laptop and opened the ASOS page um, and it was very late at night um, um, several factors led me to doing quite such a large haul. This, you think, oh, is that is that the haul? Is that everything? No, there's another bag. Well, actually, it's a box of this size, um, just on the floor here. Um, are lots of things. Number one, the book tour. I really wanted to have lots of new outfits for it. I always like to have a new dress, or try to, for a book event. Um, secondly, I've been feeling a bit not great lately about myself which is so silly because I'm always the first one to champion women feeling good about themselves and body positivity um, and body confidence and all that kind of stuff but I'm not really practicing what I'm preaching at the moment and I'm feeling kind of self-conscious and not great I think this this is a whole nother video on its own but essentially I was really happy with with where I was about year and a half ago two years ago and then I got into a relationship and I just got really comfortable <laughs> as you do and um I've like feel t I just feel too big for me um that's not to say that if I saw a woman of my size or more than my size I'd be like wow or I'll think negative thoughts because I wouldn't it's just I'm used to being a certain size and now I feel bigger than that and it's just uncomfortable for me and I just feel Blair. So I'm thinking about what I'm going to do about that, but that's a whole other video on its own. Um, so the book tour, feeling a bit blur, I wanted to like treat myself to some things that I felt really good in. And also I had loads of items in my little like wish list thing. You know on ASOS you can go and you can um, click on the heart if you like something. And then like another day you can go back and see all the things you've hearted. Well for like three or four weeks I've been hearting loads of things. So I went on and just had a bit of a splurge so I'm going to show you um some of the things and I'm going to show little clips of trying them on and whatnot I will say to you it is 30 degrees today I am hot in like a oh not like a look at me I'm so hot but like a I am sweating on my inner thighs like my inner thighs are mainly liquid now it's revolting um if you're my ex-boyfriend or an ex-fling, I hope you didn't watch that just then, didn't hear me say that about myself. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to show you the things that I bought and try some of them on. I feel very weird having completely bare arms out. This is what I mean about the confidence thing. I just feel like very exposed, but it's just too hot to put a cardigan on. So I thought, no, let my meat sticks be free. My meat sticks bring all the boys to the yard. I wish my meat sticks brought all the boys to the yard, although that would be weird. Liam would be like, why are there all these boys in in our yard? We don't have a yard. We have a garden. Right, this appears to be mainly shoe boxes, which would suggest in my 2am purchasing haze. I bought shoes. I did. I did. I bought all this about two weeks ago and then went on holiday, so I've been saving this to show you. So I've half forgotten. I bought some beautiful new nude shoes new nude shoes um they're a size seven the heel i like is like an interesting sort of shape um and they're not very high and they have a little strappy on them so you won't lose them interesting story you might be thinking but you already have some nude shoes i saw them in that picture from when i'll insert it here from when you went to buckingham palace uh yeah i left my shoes at buckingham palace <laughs> so if you see um, her match walking around with a pair of nude painted heels, we all know where she got those from. Um, I had flip-flops in my bag, by the way. I didn't walk home bare feet. I put my flip-flops on when my feet were hurting, and I put my heels down, and then I forgot to pick my heels up when I left the palace. So those, happy with those. I'll have to try them on and see if they fit. I won't model trying on shoes because feet. Ugh. Oh, I've done it again. Oops, I did it again. I bought more shoes. 
the exact same ones as the nude ones but black I figured you always need a good pair of black shoes and I just like I just didn't have a pair of black heels so I bought these oh what do we have here I think this is a black smock I thought this would be one of those good transition pieces that I could wear in the summer just as a dress and then in the winter with like tights and a cardi or leggings because we all know how I feel about tights it looks like this um I'd have to give this a try it's sort of a I don't know what this fabric's called I always want to call it like crepey oh hi crepey crepey but crepe is basically a thin pancake isn't it so I don't know it's got a stretchy bit um no it doesn't it's just sort of loosey goosey stretchy fabric we'll see how that goes I think we'll play a game I think this is going to be a thumbs up but we'll see <laughs> you can tell it was a late night purchase because I bought a neon ice cream light it was on sale I remember thinking oh that's good it's on sale they have lots of different types there um, and I'm actually doing up Darcy's room at the moment so I did buy this thinking this would go in Darcy's new room so um great a neon light also for Darcy's room I bought this narwhal light um, it's like a night light it glows in the night um, and because she's moving into what is currently our guest room she's going to have a little ensuite so I thought this could go in the ensuite and I could put the light on at night so that if she needs to go to the loo she can see where she's going and I think this was on sale as well I did buy a few homey bits you wouldn't think that ASOS is a place that you can get homey bits but it is won't unravel this now because I'm undecided on it but I bought a sass and bell little rug that says OMG in a speech bubble but now that I've done a bit of her room we haven't really gone for this theme so this I think might go back on to clothes this is hopefully a beautiful dress oh wow that's well wrapped up in there isn't it wow that is really like just bundled in with not any nice wrapping thanks ASOS usually they're quite good at wrapping things but clearly not today so it's this long maxi dress in this print green with flowers it has really nice little fluted sleeves here are these called fluted or flowy sleeves um because again i'm feeling a bit like weird about my upper arms it's pleated and it goes all the way to the bottom this feels very polyester i will say but a lot of these dresses do um and I'm hoping to wear this to a book signing. So hopefully this is a thumbs up. Here we have a plain lilac -y t t-shirt. <laughs> I don't remember what I bought this to go with. I may have had a drink when I ordered these things. So, so far you think, oh, a plain t-shirt, that's fine. And I ordered it in a couple of sizes up because I wanted it to be really baggy. So I bought this lovely little t-shirt and then I bought... <laughs> then I bought <laughs> floral cycling shorts because I thought that they would look nice together I still think that they might look nice together I'm going to Disney when you're in Disney you can wear anything it doesn't matter you can wear shorts and t-shirts that look like this that is fine you can Disney bound as a princess google Disney bounding you'll never go back and that is fine so I'm going to try those on and I think that they might look quite nice uh, don't judge me if they don't now because I think I'll be traveling a fair bit on my book tour that I'm doing I bought some Jimmy Jams and I bought space themed ones. I love space and astrology and not, I don't believe in like the stars are aligned and Jupiter's in retrograde or whatever it is, not that, but I just love like all the work that NASA does. I love finding out about the universe and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, yes, I shall get these. My dad and I actually used to go to conventions to meet astronauts when I was younger. Um, so that's good. <laughs> Jim Jams. Now, this is a dress that I bought and thought, oh no, no, this is something else. Okay, I've seen something on someone else's Instagram of a dress that I've bought, but this is not it. This is a top that I bought, thinking it would look pretty nice with jeans. I bought it in the tall section. What is going on here? How is this operating? Um, I bought it in the tall section, but it doesn't look very tall. Is it meant to be a crop top? I don't want a crop top. I think I've bought a crop top. We'll try it on anyway um, and see see what we can do with it. But I liked the pattern. I know it's a bit cats later, but I thought maybe I could pull that off. What do you think? 
Now, I've been lusting after this shirt for a couple of months or a couple of weeks, really. Um, and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's quite thin in fabric and it's stars and thought to wear it with jeans or you could tuck it in. I don't like to tuck things into jeans at the moment because I'm very self-conscious of my tummy. Um, but you could tuck it into dress, uh, like skirts. I just think that's really, really, really gorgeous. It's got the double buttons on the sleeve. Um, I think that is really pretty. Um, you could even wear it like open with like a cami underneath, like a black camisole. I just think that's a really nice, like you'll wear that a lot kind of a thing. Okay, here we are with the dress that looked really good on the website. And then my friend Emma bought it and she said it's not flattering and it's like wearing Cat Slater's nighty. And now that I can see it, I can sort of understand. Hopefully you can see a cutaway of me trying this on. It was more pink online. I don't know. I don't know. This might be one of those ones that looks great in the autumn with leggings. Because I'm not tanned at the moment. So my legs are going to look very pale with this. Um, so perhaps this is like one for leggings and boots. But we'll try it on nonetheless. And give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Ooh, I thought it a jazzy sequin top. This went out of stock but then came back into stock and I was happy about that. Um, have I bought it? I bought it uh, in, there we go, right. So it is a sequined cami. I bought it thinking that it would be a bit loose fitting. I don't know if it will or won't and I don't know how long it will be. Um, but look at the sparkle and glitter. Just thought that would be nice to go with jeans for nights out or even for my book um, events I might wear jeans and this if you come to an event and I am wearing this sparkly top that is special because this is a glitzy glitzy top I'll just say though I didn't think about the straps these are not gonna hide a bra strap are they like I want a strap I wear nude bras all the time I literally just only wear nude bras it's very unsexy I know um but nude goes under black and white without showing through so am I gonna have to be braless? A strapless bra is no good to me, they feel very uncomfortable. So maybe just let let the puppy swing free, I don't know. Okay, um, since I was talking to you earlier about feeling a bit blur about myself, I am gonna be starting to do something about that. So I have bought gym wear, I've bought these leggings because aren't these the most beautiful leggings you've ever seen? I think they're gorgeous, I would wear those just as a fashion statement. Um, and I thought if I have some nice, like gym wear like exercise wear then it might inspire me to actually put it on and move my body i also bought these i'm really going for the animal print at the moment aren't i so i bought two two pairs of leggings um and i hope that I, i'm not going to try these on today because it's just way too hot to be putting on like full length thick leggings um i'll just melt and then where will be there'll be no one to edit the video no one to upload it then there'll be nothing. So um, these, I'll take an Instagram of me wearing them one day soon. A dress, I've got high hopes for this one. High hopes, what time are we on? Oh good, we're okay for time. High hopes, she's got high in the sky, apple pie hopes. It's this lovely sagey green color with little flowers. It's quite uh, thin and it is about knee length. So I'm hoping that this looks sensational on me with like some gold earrings and maybe the nude heels for a book event. So let's see what the try on looks like for this. Hmm, this in the packet is not looking very appealing, but it feels nice. Ooh, it's sort of satiny. Ooh, I like the feel of that a lot. I want to rub it around my body, which is good because it's a dress. So <laughs> effectively, it will be rubbing around my body. This is a maxi dress. Um, it's this navy satiny fabric with all these flowers on it. I absolutely love floral. I also I thought this would look great in summer, but also this is a lovely winter floral too. Um, sometimes it's quite hard to pull off florals in the winter, but this looks lovely. I really hope that this is a winner of a dress because if it is I'm going to feel so confident and so good in this. Last but by no means least is this. I bought this top and Liam saw it on the website he was like that looks so nice. Liam loves colour um, and it reminds me of the 1990s children's presenter 
um, but I'm excited to wear this with pale jeans um, and if this fits nicely I'm going to wear it to a book thing and basically I'm going to wear all of this to book stuff if it fits nicely so if you're coming to one of those tours hashtag spot the outfit um, it's this sort of hopefully long length top um, with splashes of colour on feels quite lightweight as well which is nice um, yeah I hope that that looks good as you can see I had quite the spree there won't be going back on ASOS for a while. It's dangerous. I just find, I find with ASOS, it's either really, really boring and plain, really, really like way too out there for me, and like asymmetrical hem lines and like flared bottoms of trousers, a little bit much, or I find some absolute gems. Um, and they're my top picks for the gems that I found lately. I hope you have enjoyed that. I will link everything below. I'm going to live to regret saying that because now I'm going to have to go through and find everything. But I will link everything below. I will also, of course, link my book below. And I would love to see you at one of my book tours or just see you uh, reading a book one day. I like to be sent a lot of pictures. Wild like me, everyone sent in pictures of them reading it or where they were reading it. That's what I mean. Um, great. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.